Hello Aries, welcome back. This is going to be your intimate extended reading for Sagittarius season, so it cannot possibly be for everyone watching. If it does resonate with you, comment below, and if not, feel free to check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. And remember, time, energy, and gender are fluid, so reverse roles however they apply, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings. So Aries, thank you so much to all of my subscribers, new and returning. I love you guys and I really appreciate all of your love and support of this channel. So if you're brand new to the channel altogether, I'd love to have you. So feel free to check the description box below when you subscribe. That way you can connect with me on social media as well. All of my links and ways to connect with me are listed down there. So before I get started, I just wanted to remind y'all that I am offering some great great discounts this holiday season, including half price on private readings, 20% off on my entire website, and free shipping to all orders over $50. So if you are shopping for yourself or for loved ones this holiday season and you decide to support my small business, thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, you guys have no idea how helpful this is and how much I enjoy and appreciate your support. So let's get into it, Aries. This is your intimate extended reading, so it can be um, for you, about you, about your person, or for the cross watcher, crotch washer. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind as always. So I'm sure you've already guessed, but this reading is for the ages of 18 and up only, as some of the images in the tarot of sexual magic can be quite risque. So if that is you, please click off and have a blessed day in the Lord, uh, as we do not want any childhood trauma coming from a tarot reading. So if you're going to stick around, let's see what the Queen of the Moon Oracle has to say in regards to your person. Um, and we will see what their energy is in the season of Sagittarius. So the first card we have out here, Aries, is release. So with all these butterflies here and this energy of a waning crescent moon. I feel as if there's something that your person has been holding on to for quite some time that has required a major transformation in order for them to finally let go. Okay, so the waning crescent four is like the last phase of the waning moon before we move into a new moon. So this is like that midnight, midnight hour type <laughs> feeling where your person has been really trying for a long time to finally fully release something and like I said um, this could be even a sexual or sensual release since this is your intimate extended reading so however this resonates with you your person is finally letting it go releasing maybe their feelings releasing some old stagnant energy releasing an old partner again the storyline can be very different for different listeners so Aries let's see how this all relates to the tarot. So we're going to be looking into your person's thoughts and feelings. And um, mm, wow, starting out with the world and their conscious thoughts. So as you can see, this man is admiring this woman's body, um, looking like he got a little bit of a foot fetish over here. But overall, you can see this is a completion, okay? There's been uh, some sort of an ending, but not just an ending, an ending that required uh, lessons to be learned. So we know the world to be the end of the fool's journey. So I feel as if, again, major transformation has happened for this person in their mind, okay? So maybe your person has been holding on to some old ways of thinking, or like I said earlier, some stagnant energy that they've been trying to release, and this is that once and for all energy. So I do feel as if your person has reached conclusions in their mind that has allowed them to see everything um, from all angles, okay? So this person, I feel as if also is thinking of you as their world, Okay, so let's talk about how this person feels about you and your energy, about this connection. 
Ooh, so we have the Empress in their feelings. So this is Libra Taurus energy, but they feel like you are their divine counterpart. They feel this strong and very powerful divine feminine energy coming through from you. And the Empress is the queen of all queens, okay? She has already learned all of the lessons and mastered the energies of all four suits, cups, wands, swords, and pentacles. So she can manifest abundance, true, authentic, unconditional love, um, clear, concise, effective communication, as well as uh, passionate encounters, okay, going after her soul purpose. So they feel this energy from you. And I think also if this is resonating with you as far as the twin flame journey is concerned, uh, this person could have been releasing some toxic, like I said, mentalities, behaviors, uh, par karmic partners, whatever it is, because of this recognition of how they feel for you, of who they know you are, their world, someone that completes them, okay? So how are they viewing you in the 3D Aries? How is this person viewing Aries in the 3D? So I kind of feel like this person is looking at you and kind of thinking that you're no longer trying to manifest this connection. So you could very well be connecting with the Sagittarius. This kind of was a little bit of the theme of what was going on for their person as well. Uh, but I see the magician in the reverse as someone who has like a lack of resources or a lack of willpower to manifest something into their reality. So they're watching you in this energy of the magician in the reverse. And maybe they might be thinking like, hey... Uh, my person's no longer trying to manifest me. My person is maybe uh, growing apathetic or uh, deciding that they're not going to take any action. And so regardless of what's going on specifically with you, Aries, this is how they're viewing you in the 3D. So maybe you are kind of in a position too where you don't have uh, all the resources necessary in order to manifest and you're kind of taking a beat, okay? But whatever this is, it doesn't stop them from how they see you and how they feel about you. So let's talk about how they are wanting to move things forward here. What actions are they planning on taking towards you, Aries? hanged man in reverse so this person has already had these major awakenings and released some sort of energy from their life they're starting to see things from a new perspective and they're no longer feeling stuck okay so maybe before they needed to release whatever this was, okay, this being whatever your specific story is about, they needed to release something in order for them to move forward. And until they did that, they were remaining stuck. Now the hanged man in the reverse is saying, now they can fully, truly appreciate you and all that you have to offer. But as you can see, she's looking off in the other direction now. It looks like she's taking a little bit of a nap. So we see here too, her hands are tied Okay, so there could be a little bit of this energy where they see you kind of struggling to manifest right now into the physical because of your hands being tied metaphorically on some level. Okay, so they're wanting to move things forward. They're wanting to um, become unstuck. Maybe they want you to become unstuck. So their desires moving forward. We have the King of Swords which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This could have been a third party situation. Like I said, if this person needed to release someone or something, we have this energy of the king, uh, <laughs> the king becoming very physical with this uh, woman down here. Obviously she's admiring him. He's enjoying her company. Uh, again, this like foot fetish type idea <laughs> is happening here. Um, but there's a woman lurking in the background. So there could have been some sort of energy that was preventing your person from truly being honest with you in the past. Now they're ready to come forward with their truth regardless. Eight of Pentacles and the Justice card. Yeah, this could have been quite literally a divorce or a separation from a legal contract, whether this is a person, a job, some level of financial tie, more Libra energy Aries. 
Uh, this person needed to separate themselves and gain balance and work hard on their financial stability before they could, again, speak their truth or move forward with clarity. Now, the Eight of Pentacles in this image here, we also have this man trying to entice this woman here. And she's like, mm -mm, friend, I'm focused on drinking my coffee. I'm focused on doing what I need to do. I got to get up. I got to re get ready for work. I got to do things, right? This is that working hard, dedicated type energy. So maybe your person has worked really hard and dedicated themselves to a previous connection and now they're starting to see that no matter what they do or no matter how hard they try to work on this connection, it was never meant to last, okay? Justice came in and balanced the scales for this person. So maybe this person needed a little help from the divine, from the universe in order to fully, truly release their past or their karmic baggage, okay? So this person really desires to um, to end that cycle is what I'm seeing here. So what is going on behind the scenes with this person? What is something we're not aware of right now? So we have the five of, what is this? Five of pentacles in the reverse. So this person could have gone through a financial struggle. They could have also felt like left out in the cold by a person that they dealt with in the past, which could have been the very thing that led them to you in the first place. Okay. This person having this awakening and releasing the past because they realize who you are to them, uh, knowing that they've struggled in the past, they're coming out of that energy because of their hard work and dedication. They're not financially struggling and they're ready to bring this connection out from the cold. It's kind of this intimate secret moment that's happening here in this card. And it's, it's like the lovers meeting in secret. So you could have met this person when they were already in a committed connection, like I said, but no matter how hard this person worked on this connection, it's like, Justice was always meant to be served. This divorce or this separation was always meant to happen. And here we have this behind the scenes energy of this person wanting to passionately connect with, with you. Okay. So very interesting. Now, what is the challenge for this person? Um, or what is challenging them currently? So we have the four of pentacles popping out here. They definitely are not wanting to let you go, Aries. They feel as if they have found their person. And you can see he's he's really trying to wake her up. And like I said, we've got that napping energy here. So you could have very well decided, you know, hey, I'm going to, like I said, take a beat. I'm going to leave this person alone. I'm just going to kind of look the other way or go my own direction while this person deals with whatever they're dealing with. But this person does not want to let you go. And with the four of pentacles also, this could be them. Um, their challenge all along was to gain financial stability, right? Maybe that was the reason why it took them an extra long time to release their past. Maybe there was some level of codependency happening with this person. So I see the eight of pentacles and half of eight is four. So this could have been a scenario where you, uh, where your person and their past person had divided the assets and, you know, they ended up walking away with only half of what they were used to having before, right? They split um, down the middle, perhaps. And that's not for everyone, but that's just kind of what I'm hearing. So with the star card in the reverse, landing on top of this energy of how they're thinking and feeling, Aries, this person has always been wishing for for you. They've been looking at you as their hope, as their peace, as their reprieve in life. And as you can see, this woman is pouring this milk and honey on top of her man. And it's just this very sensual energy. So again, your person's fully aware of what they're wishing for. But the challenge is their financial stability was at risk. So again, in order to fully, fully release, this person had to be able to stand on their own. And, <clears throat> and I think that my refrigerator's ice machine agrees because <laughs> it's very loud, as you can hear. So bottom of the deck in the recent past for this person, yeah, we have the three of swords. So there definitely was some third-party energy or some heartbreak. I mean, as you can see, we've got this man who is 
longing for this woman over here. Again, same position, okay? So on some level, there could have been uh, the energy of you kind of turning your back or turning your face away from what was really happening or like ignoring what was really happening um, when you connected with this person because as you can see the woman is consistently looking like she's asleep okay this man is fully admiring this woman and we have this this woman in the back again like this image here too so there's this almost like this jealous or watcher energy in the background. So your person could have very well been dealing with a nasty karmic energy, someone who was very jealous or uh, someone that they felt tied or bound to, codependent on. And, you know, this looks like she's doing some sort of a ritual, okay? So protect your energy, Aries, because if your person is dealing with a third-party energy and trying to release that person, you never know what someone else is capable of, okay? So just protect your energy um, and allow this person to, to deal with what they're dealing with and you just keep your you just keep your eyes closed Aries okay you just look away all right let this person do what they need to do so um so yeah let's talk about some clarity here let's elaborate a little bit more on this energy I'm gonna slide this over a little bit uh, yeah, it's like all along I feel like this person has just been longing to connect with you and in the time that they haven't been able to connect with you, not only have they not been able to let you go, Aries, but they've been feeling um, lack. They've been feeling loss, okay? And uh, and yeah, so now it's almost like a little bit of a role reversal. Maybe you came along and woke this person up, and then you saw, like, okay, what they were going through, and you decided, well, I'm going to go back to sleep. You come and wake me up when you're ready, okay? So let's clarify this person's thoughts and feelings. Ooh, I love how the magician kind of comes up looking like the reverse again, but we have the devil and the magician together. So this person is definitely obsessing over you. Um, and I also see the devil as someone dealing with codependency, uh, dealing with the energy of feeling tied down. This is also Capricorn energy. And, you know, obviously the magician does represent your energy as well. So with the magician popping up again in the reverse, I think that this person might be not only obsessing about you and about this connection, but they could also be afraid to manifest. There could have been some level of, mm, you know what I just heard? Someone is trying to convince this person that they won't be able to manifest this connection. So this devil energy is coming into this person's life and they're trying to convince them that it's not possible for them to have a life with you. Uh, Hmm, that was a very specific message, so I'm not sure if that's going to be for everyone. But uh, yeah, again, if there's any other meanings that you find in these cards, be sure to comment below. If the reading is resonating with you, don't forget to hit the like button. So let's see a little bit more about this magician in the reverse energy. How are they viewing you? Why is it the magician in the reverse? Yeah, there was a new beginning to be had, okay? And for some reason, it comes out on the side, right? It's not an opportunity declined, but it's also not an opportunity taken. So I feel like Aries, there was a lot of opportunity here and maybe a risk that was involved. And now you're at this point where you're like, okay, well, it is what it is, right? Que sera, sera. If it's meant to happen, then it will happen. You're not necessarily against this new beginning. You're not against taking a risk with this person. But I think you're just kind of laying down, laying low, and waiting to see what this person is going to do versus you always being the one to charge forward or make the moves, okay? Because Aries, I know that you're a leader, but when it comes to matters of the heart, uh, I kind of feel like you take a laid-back approach, okay? So anyways, let's elaborate a little bit more on the hanged man in the reverse as far as what they're wanting to to do to move this connection forward? What actions are they planning to take? Interesting. So we have the death card in the reverse. So they're de they, this isn't over between the two of you. I feel as if, again, this person has gone through a major transformation already, but by doing so, they understand that they're no longer stuck. They are already transformed. Okay. 
a transformation is complete. I feel as if this person has already gotten rid of or ended things, released things with someone. And again, this is like a feeling of not being stuck. Okay, this is the transformation being complete. I think they could also have ignored this transformation in the past, um, which could be why it took so long. Maybe again, they were codependent or they were afraid and they felt like this was not possible. And that is why they've kind of stayed back at a distance. Okay. So let's clarify what they desire. So we have the lovers and the seven of swords. So this person desires to make a choice in love. They know that this connection has been divinely guided. They feel as if this is some sort of a soulmate twin flame type connection. Uh, but they also know that they're going to have to stop being dishonest with themselves at the same time. So we have this fox, but instead of the image of someone sneaking away, we just have a fox curled up in a ball, only opening one eye. So I feel like there's some level of fear here for this person. Whoever was lurking in the background, preventing your person from speaking their truth, like I said, they worked really, really hard on trying to make that connection work, but it ended up coming to a swift close anyway. So I think what they're starting to understand now is if they want true love, if they want true spiritual twin flame soul connection union, they're going to have to stop living in denial and lying to themselves about what it is that they truly want and what it is that they're truly capable of. So the seven of swords can also denote a third party situation. So this could be them also acknowledging that in order for them to move things forward and come into union with you, they're going to have to tell you the truth. They're going to have to be honest with you, fill in the blanks, whatever the case might be. They're going to have to explain themselves on some level. There can't be any sneaky or sidestepping behavior. And maybe that's how they might have approached things with you in the past. So let's elaborate on the five of pentacles in the reverse as what's going on behind the scenes. Goodness. So we have the daughter of wands, which is also the page of wands. Um, I feel too, this person has, again, it's the same kind of concept. There's been this opportunity or this chance for an exciting new beginning. And, you know, there's this chance to create something um, unique and brand new and something that belongs to the two of you, but it's been put on hold. Okay. This idea, this passion, this new beginning, uh, because there's been a snake here in the garden is what I'm seeing. Okay, there's been some sort of snake or toxic codependent behavior, or even like I said, some jealous karmic partner from the past that needed to be taken care of before they could truly uh, come out of this financial struggle. Um, and maybe this is someone that has tried to keep your person down or keep them from believing in themselves and their ability to uh, be out on their own. So there's more of that on pause energy. So let's clarify for the four of pentacles and the star in the reverse for their struggle or their challenge. Yeah, so we have the hermit Virgo energy. So this tortoise with the, the lantern on his back moving slow as can be. Um, I think this person's main concern right now is kind of protecting themselves, protecting their assets. They already know um, what's going on, right? They've already had their awakening and the hermit um, goes within to find enlightenment because the answers have always been there, okay? This person knows that and they've been keeping to themselves and protecting their energy because as they awaken, they're starting to see now that everything they've held onto in the past actually wasn't benefiting them at all. So they've gone within in order to uh, enlighten themselves towards this journey, towards their spiritual ascension. So it's like they know they're not going to get their wish unless they can fully, truly pull away from everything that has held them back in the past. Okay, so going their own way and um, just going within has been a little bit of a struggle for them because, like I said, I think there's been someone holding this person back and trying to convince them that they're not capable of having a new beginning or that they're not capable of breaking free of this devil energy. 
okay? But now they're starting to see that the power was in them the whole time, okay? They're the ones that are capable of making their own wishes and dreams come true. So bottom of the deck for the Three of Swords, we have the Daughter of Cups in the reverse. So again, that, that kind of energy of an offer that was never made, uh, knowing that there was true love there, but no offer made, no one uh, being honest about how they felt, which again could be why you were like, okay, I, I see you. You're not ready. I'm going to go my own way too. So on some level, I do feel as if you've kind of closed your eyes to the situation. This person, I think, is feeling massive regret for not uh, beginning this new love when they had the chance, okay? And now it's it's kind of pushing them into this kind of dark night of the soul energy where they have to transform and figure out what love truly means and what it is that they're wanting to choose for their own life, Okay, so this daughter of cups could also be, you know, them wanting to apologize, um, but being afraid to kind of come forward with their feelings. So yeah, very interesting energy coming through for you guys. Let's go ahead and dig into the under the roses Lenormand and see a little bit more about what's going on with this person. What is blocking them or any other messages the spirit wants us to know. So let's see what we have first. Yeah, the sun, divine masculine energy, the ace of pentacles. This person is awakening to their divine masculine energy. This is happiness. This is um, vitality, newness, new beginnings, light, energy. And also the offer that was never made. This person is understanding that they've always had the power within them to have this new beginning. Okay, They've always held this seed or the ace of pentacles in their hands. It's just that in order for them to truly see it materialize, they had to understand their power from within first. So I kind of see this light from the sun as the light from the lantern. They're waking up to their true power in this world and they're understanding their potential um, is so much more than, than maybe what they've been seeing in themselves before, okay? Or maybe what others have allowed them to see. And we have the letter. So expect this person to kind of reach out to you, whether it is via a letter or email or text. This is communication coming forward. And as you can see, um, <clears throat> as you can see, it kind of looked to me like a heart. But when you open the envelope, it ripped. Obviously, it looks like a wax seal. But I see this as someone being determined to communicate and get what they need to say out, right? So um, obviously this is, it's saying here, correspondence, communication, document, um, message. And then it is the seven of wands energy. So a determination um, to fight for what they believe in, right? Standing up for themselves. And this is all about communication. So we already have the king of swords out here as what they're truly um, desiring, right? They're desiring to, um, to speak their truth about the hardships they've been through, about the separation they've gone through, um, interesting and so let's see what else spirit has to say from this deck the bouquet queen of swords so this is the counterpart to the king of swords it's like this person already is aware that that's the case and they want to come forward with some token of affection um, I see the bouquet as an offer, also an apology type energy, sending flowers to say you're sorry, um, kind of like a presentation of of being real, of being honest about how they feel. That's kind of what they're gearing up for. So I don't think this person would have had the strength to do all of this unless they finally saw the truth about whoever it was that they were with. Now, the house with the King of Cups energy here, this person also could be very loyal too. So if there were assets or things that needed to be divided, um, like a house, okay, um, you know, this could have also stirred up some feelings within them, especially of nostalgia. If they've worked really hard on a relationship in the past and it ended up going, you know, out the window, doesn't necessarily mean that they're not grieving, right? So your person could have potentially lost a house. Um, or again, it could be the opposite. They could have won in, in the battle. They could have gotten to keep the house. 
So the number four here too makes me think of the four of pentacles. We talked about dividing the assets earlier. So a uh, house can be very relevant for this person's journey. Um, and let's get a couple more. Let's see if spirit has anything else to say from this deck. Yeah, the tree. So I think of the family tree when I see this seven of cups energy. So there could have been a lot of confusion about kind of severing ties um, and kind of splitting the family tree, right? So this is also about health and um, mindset and reflection. So they could be really looking back on the life that they built and seeing like, okay, um, I'm responsible for, for how this turned out, right? When you plant seeds and grow roots, you you need to make sure that it's on stable ground and as you can see this ground is isolated in a in a pool of water okay so I think on some level your person spent a lot of time with this um uh, karmic maybe family situation not just a partner could have involved a family they spent so much time trying to cultivate this family that they didn't realize that they were actually isolating themselves so now we have this five up top here signifying major change coming into play and maybe they've been very confused and overwhelmed as to how to manifest their dreams into reality but uh, seeing how they've isolated themselves and put themselves in a situation with people who, like I said, maybe try to convince them that they're not capable or try to put them down. Uh, this person could be surrounded by like narcissistic individuals or family members that are very self-centered. Um, and with the clock tower coming in here with the six of wands energy, uh, I feel too like this person is really wanting to it's like it's about time is what i'm hearing okay so the clock tower here says um it's very hard to read enlightening structure ooh separation oh my goodness yeah, so it's about time is what I heard. It's about time for this cycle to end. This person has been um, going at this for a very, very long time. And it's like they're starting to get that call to separate from all that is holding them back or making them feel like they're not capable. They know better than that. And look at that. At the bottom, we have the mountain, eight of wands. So this person is really wanting to communicate, but they've had so many obstacles that they've needed to go through, so many challenges and blockages it's been just very difficult to manifest the next step of their journey okay so let's go ahead and see what we have from the lovers oracles and see what spirit has to say as for your advice this could also come as messages from your person this kind of depends on the connotation of the cards so what do the lovers oracles have to say for my lovely aries Oh my goodness. Okay, so we had quite a bit fallout, so I'm going to read through them quickly. I love how the death card was knocked away. But the first card we have here is, Look deep within your heart, and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So this person is talking to you. They're asking you to look deep in your heart and know that they are thinking of you, that they're feeling things for you. They're hoping to connect with you on the 5D. We also have power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. So this person maybe has found their power. Um, whereas before they were struggling to release those things. Now they know what's right for them. They know that they have the ability to stay or go. And so with this lover's card coming up, it's like they've always known they've had the choice. Um, they just needed to stop being uh, dishonest with themselves, okay? So we also have secret admirers. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. So obviously we can see this person feels very deeply for you. They feel like you're their divine counterpart. You have new beginning. Yes, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So I think spirit is telling you to be open to that new beginning um, with that fool card laying on its side. Yes, maybe you've turned your back or maybe you've closed your eye or turned a blind eye as is what they say but spirit's telling you just be open okay be open and be ready to receive your highest good okay so we also have twin flames your passion ignites we have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept 
each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So Spirit's telling you, you know, don't criticize this person or worry about what they're doing on their portion of the journey because everyone has their own lessons to learn, okay? Love and accept each other as is and allow things to unfold organically. We also have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance and finally time you are trying too hard give it time so whether you're trying or not um i think spirit's just simply saying allow time to unfold and let things just happen okay let things flow don't um, get stuck on a timeline or on some sort of an outcome because honestly, when you do that, you're, sh you're kind of slowing down your manifestation from coming into reality, okay? So <clears throat> remember, will, free will can only take us so far. There are faded things and um, divine timing that, that comes into play. So uh, be willing to work with that energy and don't fight against it. So let's see what this person has to say to you, Aries from the eternal messages and what do we have for Aries mm, so let's start we've got I've been expanding my spiritual knowledge so what did I say? This person has had a massive awakening and a major release of baggage from the past. I want to reconcile with you. So obviously there's been some sort of separation. Okay. Maybe there has been um, a conversation where, like I said, it kind of caused you to to separate and and release this person. Okay, this release card could have been you releasing this person, knowing they had to deal with certain things um, in regards to karmic cycles. I've been receiving your telepathic messages. So when you're talking to this person or when you're talking to yourself, um, your person could very well be hearing you, receiving those messages, um, even maybe in their dreams as well. I have a gift for you. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like that Ace of Pentacles energy that we saw earlier with the sun. Uh, I think that there is going to be some sort of a surprise that this person has for you um, in the near future. I'm protecting this connection. Yeah, so that's another thing too. We have this lurking woman energy in multiple cards. This person could have very well separated or released you from their life. Life temporarily because they didn't want to drag you into the drama of their karmic situation okay um and you know some of you might think like oh that's just an excuse but at the end of the day um you never really know uh what someone's capable of right and so you know you might think to yourself well i'd rather have this person contact me and let me know what's going on or be honest with me versus you know just ghosting me or whatever, right? But at the end of the day, this person has been dealing with this karmic energy for far longer than they've probably even known you. And so I think them in their mind, they're like, I don't even want to drag this person through everything I'm going through. Best to just not say anything at all, right? Best to not make that offer just yet. Best to release and separate while I handle my business. So I'm severing ties with the karmic partner. Yeah, I mean, that's confirmation right here. We've been seeing that all over this reading. We also have, I hold back because I don't want to be rejected. So again, if you've turned your back on this person, it could be kind of um, causing them to come in very slowly because they're afraid that you might have gone cold to them forever, okay? Again, we have a gift and a surprise. So they're planning a surprise for you. And I've been astral projecting to you. So very interesting. Uh, and you'll have to let me know if you have any astral projection experiences. Or just like I said in general, if this reading has resonated with you, I would love to hear from you in the comments. And so the last two messages here we have, I've been sending you messages in 5D. So yeah, we've got this message repetitively coming out. Um, obviously, there's a strong 5D connection. And I can tell you don't trust me. And I want to change that. 
So yeah, part of this person speaking their truth, as we saw with the Seven of Swords and the Lovers, is them coming clean or being honest about their behavior, um, if they've been sneaky or kind of sidestepping, um, or even just lying to themselves. Like I said, they know that you are looking at them like, hmm, you're suspicious, right? So they can tell they want to change that. They want to reconcile. They want to make things right. So Aries, if this resonated with you, um, I'm happy that it did. I'd love to hear from you, like I said. And of course, um, I would love to also hear from you as far as if this reading resonated and you want to go even further, like I said, tons of discounts and half price readings to go around this season. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of Sagittarius season and I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.